good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a fine fall afternoon here in the southeast, and we're out starting some Uber driving for the evening, and I've just got a few things I'd like to cover. We'll call this driving lessons with the Gooch. <clears throat> First thing I'd like to cover are directional signals, which I just used. Um, directional signals, if you're outside of the little bubble that you call your own little world, are not for you. They're for everyone else around you so they know where you might end up deciding to go. Um, so that they can either, you know, let you in maybe or, or per perhaps not cut you off or at least have an idea of what you plan to do so that they can make their, their, their plans on what they're going to do. So it's a communication uh, technique using your directional signals. Um, technically, they're not supposed to be optional. You're supposed to use them. So just use the signals and communicate with the people around you. Yes, there are people around you. You're not the only person on the planet. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about is uh, when you do use your directional signal, it does not give you the right to take the lane on either side of you, whichever way your, point, your signal's pointed to. If someone else is in that lane, it's their lane. Just because you put your signal on doesn't make it your lane. It doesn't mean that you can go there. You have to, make, you, you have to yield right away, so that's a no-no. Use your signal, yes, but don't just take the lane because your signal's on. You have to check and make sure no one else is there first. I know it sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how often that that particular thing is uh, is, is a problem. Um, the next thing I would like to discuss is when you're in on the interstate and you're in the left-hand lane, the far left, or even one of the middle lanes, if you're not to the far right, and you notice that people are passing you like you're backing up, and then all of a sudden you realize you're traveling, t traveling 10 miles an hour below the speed limit. Perhaps you need to do one of two things. Perhaps you need to, one, either speed up, or two, get out of the way. Move over to the right. Signs all over the interstate that says, slower traffic, keep to the right. I suggest you follow those road signs. Because that, when you're going too slow in the left-hand lane, you're now impeding traffic. It's more dangerous than speeding, in my opinion, because now people are just going to run into you. Because you know the people around you, they're probably not paying attention to how slow you're going or how fast they're going in relation to how quickly they're going to end up in your back seat. So, um, the next thing I would like to talk about is merging. When you're merging onto the interstate or onto any, into any lane for that matter, mer we merge with the accelerator. We do not merge with the brake. It is not your lane. You must yield to oncoming traffic that's already in the lane. You need to yield because they're already in the lane, it's theirs. So you need to merge with the accelerator. You need to match the speed of traffic in that lane. They're not supposed to slow down to match your speed, especially when you're going slow because you're too scared to hit the, to hit the gas. So we merge with the accelerator, not the brake. Merging with the accelerator, good. Merging with the, with the brake, bad, it causes accidents. The final thing I would like to talk about is um, something that's all over social media. It's out on commercials, so on and so forth. And if you notice while I'm talking to you, yes, I'm using my phone while I'm talking to you, but my hands are free and I've got it mounted and I'm paying attention to the road because there's other yahoos around me. I'm actually in rush hour traffic on the interstate right now. Um, but I'm paying attention to what's going on around me, not necessarily what's going on with the phone but other people around me that I've noticed even in the short time that I've been talking to you they're messing with their phone while they're driving on the freaking interstate what are you thinking put it down it'll be there when you get to wherever you're going put the phone down and freaking drive and I've said about that so this has been driving lessons with the gooch if you break any of these rules, you know what will happen because these are now new rules. And if you break any of them, the gooch will fart on you.